Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up from my last video about uh, gene decode, and and really this applies to to any anybody that is um is up on on a network. Okay, they they put I'll just let me back up. The entire reason that the DARPA, which is Defense Advanced Research Project, which is essentially being run by demons, okay, um, <clears throat> put that up was obviously to collect data on everybody that's connected to it, okay? Um, and, and, and then, of course, when your mind is now spending all of your consciousness energy uh, hooked up to an electronic network that was set up by demons, okay, you begin to realize that you're now, essentially, your state of consciousness is engaging with another unit of consciousness that is aware of itself in an electronic information system, Right? Okay, it's a network communication system, right? A library, a library of consciousness. So the way that it works, because this is how I experience it, and it's really pretty simple. When, when your electrical density, which means the amount of light that you run on, that you're aware of, which represents your soul, spirit, body, your macabre, based on essentially how old you are, uh, which is how long have you been gaining light as a result of how much love you have in your heart that you're giving others to go as fast as you possibly can. That allows you to process an enormous amount of data and it allows you to be able to read, if you will, the amount of light and the rate at which electrons are being used and, if you will, your ability to replace it to maintain how much you're aware of that is held within all that light. So when you can read that, that's called mapping which means it's not only mapping the terrain of a planet, but mapping the terrain of an individual. You're mapping their software, the program that they're running, or multiple programs that they're running. Okay? So you begin to know the nature of the being, or the operating system, and the operator behind that operating system, which is the software, which is the information, the program. Okay? Like an AI. Okay, an android, a cyborg, okay, a hybrid. Okay, so what it means is you're reading the field, their energy field. So that's why when you're an empath, you're looking for any blockages, which is resistance. So if you're lit up like an eight-day clock, right, which means you've got no resistance running through all your circuits, which means all the electrons are, are flowing through everything, that relates to what? A function. So the high speed of those waves is activating all your DNA so that you're running full power on your software, which means you're using all of your software, everything that was written into your software and which allows you to have the ability to do what it was that the programmer put in there. Okay? So in this case, this equipment was programmed by goddess. Now, I don't know about you, uh, but I would certainly rather be running equipment that was made by a, a goddess, uh, knowing the size of her light spirit body that is in this planet, who programmed one of these things for me, for my spirit to use down here, right? See the difference? Because if you're going to wage wars against androids, cyborgs, clone wars, and all the rest of it, you better be able to read the field, which is mapping the terrain. Okay, knowing the enemy, where are they? So your consciousness, so this is when I realized when I was a child, for example, I was aware of things that others weren't aware of, which means I was aware of what they're aware of. And you realize you're aware of a lot more than that. That's a measurement of electrical density consciousness. Okay, and that's important when you're fighting a war like this to defend and protect this realm against those that are trying to destroy it and harvest energy, right? So you're not going to be able to defend anything if you're not able to know your enemy. Because this isn't like fighting caveman wars. This isn't like fighting conventional wars. Those are all like, if you want to think of it in an exponential function on a timeline, it's like, just a completely different reality in which 
using war toys like that when you already know the level of technology that exists out there that is beyond their comprehension and you're already there and yet people's comprehension of what they learn through being here in terms of technology like a tank okay like stuff they used in world war ii world war one revolutionary war and even going all the way back to the crusades and before that the roman empire with star cruisers over their head see so this is one of the reasons why it's so difficult for people who were simply not aware of the programming and the manner in which information was being introduced to them about what they became aware of through their own history books that they were taught. Like, hey, we just came out of the, the cave, you know, 200,000 years ago, and the evolution of technology went from, you know, a club and a, and a campfire, right, to an automobile, burning up the consciousness of the planet. So imagine that you started at four years of age where you're already at Star Wars, but you're surrounded by a population of people that are still at the history that they believed. That's a major problem of perception, isn't it? So you already know they're not going to believe what you're already aware of, are they? No. See the problem? So, having given that, it, it's, uh, you know, it's why I hung out with her all the time. Okay, it's like I had a, uh, and I want to make sure I, I cover two things in this last video because I got to rest because I'm going to, they're going to cut on me tomorrow. Um, and that is that, and I better say this first, is that I, I, I got to, I got to give all my heart and soul to my spiritual guides, those that protect me and they do protect me. Okay. Um, if you've looked at all my videos, you can see they're there with me. There was one there the other night. All of a sudden, zap, you could see that little orb come right over where I was at, right there. Okay? Um, even when I had acute pancreatitis, as much as I know how much light that I have to protect myself with, when I'm in here, um, it's not like there are not other very powerful spirits that are looking out for me because they are. Okay? So, I could cry forever that I know that they're always there. Okay? Um, so that's my heart and soul for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being there with me through this. And naturally, my spiritual mother on this planet always comes first to me in my heart because of how much I know of everything they did to her. It crushes my heart. 